in general, small businesses have a tough time understanding all the technology that exists because AI, email, websites, whatever it might be. I mean, those are technologies that are constantly changing, constantly evolving. And being in the business of that is tough enough to keep track of. And if you're a, if you're a plumber or you're a roofer or you're a, a lawyer or an accountant, you, you don't have time for that. Hey, everybody. We are live here with Jeff Vallon from Automagic 247 and uh, rocking the sled hat, looking great. Uh, Jeff and I met in uh, some networking groups and uh, man, he's one of those guys who is just a give first, give second, give third kind of a guy, always ready to share and, and help people get to the next level. And Jeff, thanks so much for joining us on the podcast. Super excited to have you. Yeah, I appreciate the invite. Look forward to it. Beautiful. So what I wanted to do, this was a nice little quick uh, jump uh, that we're doing on this podcast. And I'd like to have you again on the podcast later to talk about a couple different things. But today I really want to talk about the movement that we're seeing towards AI being used in, you know, in, in a lot of aspects of business. And I know you're really dialed into this space. Talk to me a little bit about what you're seeing. Well, one of the things that's happening with AI, in addition to just, you know, moving in a, in a, a rapid, rapid fashion. Things change, you know, in, in business, we're used to things being, you know, week to week, maybe even day to day. And with AI, it's almost hour to hour. So first and foremost, you know, businesses that are thinking this is going away or this isn't going to be something that's going to affect their business, I think they need to get their head out of the sand because businesses that avoid it or, or delay adopting AI into their business are going to be left uh, left behind because things are just moving real rapid. And it, it can be real simple things, you know, like just using AI to, you know, about you're trying to do a, write an email or, or do a blog or so, some piece of creative and you just need an idea, you can, you know, drop into chat GPT and just give me some ideas and, you know, spur some thoughts. Uh, to some more sophisticated things where you're, you know, engaging your clients and, and your audience into, you know, fully conversational conversations using, using AI. And, you know, one of the things that, that most small businesses, and that's what I focus on, you know, the small and local business that is a challenge for them is instantly responding to clients. And so 1% of businesses in North America respond to their client in under a minute. And those that do have a 398% chance of closing that lead. So if you're able to have that speed to lead built into your, your business, you know, you're, you have a real advantage. And so that's yep. what we're trying to help businesses accomplish is that speed to lead with the conversational AI components. And then, you know, obviously having all the pieces that flow into it to support that initial um, engagement. In speed to lead is such an important thing because I, you're absolutely right. That's a stat that I've heard from, you know, multiple people, whether it's Grant Cardone or any of the other people out there, even in Keller Williams, they talk about that a lot too, is just, you've got to get back to somebody quickly. Yep. And, uh, and if you, and if you don't, you now become part of the noise because the, I mean, and, and people think it's, it's the person's not paying attention, but that's just not true. It's just everybody I think is getting so invaded with so much information. You know, in a day, you're going to be hit with the stuff that's happening in Gaza. You're going to be hit with the stuff that's happening in Ukraine. You know, what's going on with the Kardashians? You know, you know, where did uh, Joe Biden end up today? You know, all these things that that just invade our brains on a daily basis. The idea that well, you're it's, like, you it's know, brains really get and my... it's our channels too, right? So you, you oh, know, yeah, you're getting absolutely. text messages, you're getting emails. Like how many times do you go at the end of the day and your email count is higher than it was when you started the day and then you're just trying to get down to that zero inbox, which is an impossibility in today's age. I remember the days when I used to be able to accomplish that tax. It's just not possible. And, and I never and so tried all I these other of, channels too, task, right? I never tried. Yeah. Pardon me? <laughs> I heard of that task, but I've never yeah. tried to get down to zero. <laughs> I've got like six, 60,000 or 80,000 emails in, you know, right? I get so, like 400 a day right now, right? Yeah. So just, just emails alone. And so one of the things that, that we've been able to accomplish is unifying all those messages. So whether it's your phone, whether it's your email, whether it's your text messages, your social medias, your Instagram, your Facebook, your WhatsApp, if you're using it. 
Google My Business. Many businesses don't even turn on the Google My Business chat because A, they don't know it's there or they don't want to have to answer another channel. Um, and another big one is, is website, you know, website chats. We can talk about it in a bit, but you know, what we do is we combine all of those channels into a, a single unified conversation and a single app. So, in, you know, simple things like coming out of an appointment or a meeting and you have to, you got to check my voicemail. I got to check my email. I got to check my test message. <laughs> I got to see if I got any DMs. Like, did anybody message me on WhatsApp? And, and with our application, it's all in one place. So you come out, it's on your phone, you see what you have to deal with and, and, and it makes you a lot more efficient. And then what it allows businesses like mine to do is then automate that because we have everything in one place. It makes it much easier to create automation so we can respond to those incoming, those missed calls, those incoming messages and respond to them instantly so that we're making our customers part of the 1%. We're, we're, right. we're you know, solving that speed you're... to lead problem. Absolutely. And a lot of the times you'll recognize that you're saying the same things to many people. And, you know, if somebody's asking about, you know, can I get this in blue or red? Y your answer is probably going to be yes. Right. And, and automation can handle, I think, a lot of those style of questions. Would you agree with that? Well, automation has gone to the next level. I, a month ago, it was, you know, yeah, we're, we're how late? What are you open till? We're open till five. How do I book an appointment? Here's the link. Um, you know, what's the what's this product? Well, this product does this. What does this service do? This this service does that. And now it's evolved to a full conversation, so that you could actually initiate a conversation and not really know that you're dealing with a a, a bot. Which a month ago, two months ago, it was pretty easy to determine that. That that technology was, you know, a bot, right? Well, and I think, so, aren't we almost close to the anniversary or near the anniversary of when ChatGPT was put out? I don't even know when it was. I think it was somewhere around released. this time last year. And it's weird to think that it was like a year ago that this all happened because it's yeah, so it pervasive in everything that I do on a daily basis. Yeah, and well, even with ChatGPT Turbo just got released, you know, last couple of days ago or last week, I didn't even really realize it. I was on my, my thing a couple of days ago. This looks different. It's called um, yeah. Chaji GPT Turbo now, right? So there's like oh, the after GPT, four, it's now Turbo. I mean, that whole interface is just going crazy. But it's, it's kind of a, it's just a technology. It's like, a, you know, I talk to people, it's like the Wild West. You know, there's so much that we don't know. There's so much that's changing. There's so many opportunities. Uh, and so you kind of have to filter through all the, all the craziness of like, how can this affect my business in a positive way today and in, in a framework that's going to work for tomorrow. And so one of the things that, that we recognize early on, and not just with AI in general, small businesses have a tough time understanding all the technology that exists because AI, email, websites, whatever it might be, I mean, those are technologies that are constantly changing, constantly evolving. And being in the business of that is tough enough to keep track of. And if you're a, if you're a plumber or you're a roofer or you're a, a lawyer or an accountant, you, you don't have time for that. And then taking that technology and, and using it and automating it in a way that benefits your business is just even more. So well, I think, we I think really the great thing is there, there's options to be able to say, hey, you know what, I want to take this on and I want to be able to do it show me how, or it's a situation where I kind of want to do some of it, but can you do the rest of it? Or, you know what? I just want to focus on being the lawyer that I am. Can you just handle all of this? Right. And, and so that's there's what the we, need, the we, that they offer and having yeah. those kind of offers out there for people to be able to give them what they're looking for. So critical. We've decided to focus specifically on, on some core things where we just provide the core stuff out of the box. So we Beautiful. take all your incoming channels, we automate for it, we, we provide instant responses for it. We can add AI, a conversational um, component to it if you want, and then handle that engagement. And you were doing that, that in different languages too, is what I remember. Yeah, you can, it's uh, any language that ChatGDP, we use ChatGDP um, as our model. So any, any language that, that it can use, um, it can respond to. And, and what's really cool about that is that before, and I mean, I, I live in Quebec, Canada, 
Um, so we're a French first province. And uh, so most businesses that I deal with in Quebec need to have, you know, a, a French component and an English component. So you had to maintain two language models, you know, so you always had to have your English version. You always had to have your French version. And when one, something changed in one, you had to make sure it changed in the other and simply managing two language models added a whole level. Crazy, it's yeah. like running two businesses, right? And making sure that if, if something changes, that that change gets that's filtered through onto the other side is important with AI and with what we're doing in a lot of the messaging is we're using a single language model and having AI do the translation. So we're only having to maintain a single language model, which cuts down massively on administration and management of two language models. And that alone is saving businesses tons and tons of money. And, and what's even cooler about that is it's not just tied to a single language. So an example of a client in Maine and he's a copywriter and he deals, I think 30% of his clients are in Canada and the UK, right? So we were, I was telling him about this language thing and he's like, well, you know, that's cool, but it doesn't really affect my business. But I'm like, well, wait a second, you know, Canada spells words differently than us and you maybe americans don't care about that but canadians do um brits really care about it you know we're a little bit more laissez-faire in terms of the maybe the proximity to the us and we're um, yep. more used to seeing american spelling of things but being because able always to grammatically respond, checks us wrong when we type our emails yeah well you see it all the time in the, in the, <laughs> the email right so chat gdp will actually you, create the messages in the language model that you tell it. So you can now have clients in the U S clients in Canada, clients in the UK and deliver messages in the, in their native English, you know, so it doesn't have to be a French or a Spanish or a Portuguese or a different language altogether. Even within the English language, businesses can deliver smartly the same message, but having, I think, you know, yeah. Glamour is the only word in the U.S. dictionary that uses a U, but like color and flavor and, you know, travel, like what, two L's in Canada, one L in, in uh, the oh, U.S. Yeah. And the Z's and the S's are different for different words. and Z's and Z's, but I guess it doesn't matter. Z's and yeah. Z's. That C's and S's, now, Z's and Z's. If people want to reach out to you, what's what's the best way to get a hold of you? No, just through the website, automagic247.com. There's, um, so auto magic, A U T O magic247.com. Yep. Yeah. Just click on the, so if they, if they, the, if they reach out to you, will they get the same experience of the, the speed to lead? Yep. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, we're, we're, we're now, doing a little bit of, we're doing a little bit of playing is, with the AI on the, on our site right now. So you might get some funky stuff, but yeah. Perfect. That's the best way to play with it. Yeah, and, yeah, you know, if they can, if they can get the, the, the bleeding edge stuff with you, then, then, and they're getting the stuff that's proven, that's, that's all the better. Now, one of the exactly. things that I want to close off with, what I thought was really fun was the one time you called me, do you know what your name comes up as when you call people? It's you've been thunderstruck. Oh, on my phone. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's the, the best. Con- it was the best. <laughs> I was like, man, I got thunderstruck. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was so yeah. well with the sleigh it had. It was amazing. <laughs> well jeff thanks so much for today really appreciate it. and guys i would reach out to him he's an awesome human being we just kind of connect on a weekly basis because he's just got a lot of fun stuff to talk about he's always in the give mode and uh, and he really knows what he's talking about and we will catch you guys on the next one money mindset mentoring podcast let's go